right, so we already washed the vehicle, decontaminate the paint, decontaminate the rims as well. They were super dirty. And pretty much it's looking better <laughs> just with the wash. So the paint on this vehicle, let me show you guys the conditions on the paint. We have plenty of spotlights, but this one here is a good one. So all right, as you guys can see, we have a lot of imperfections on the paint, which is a lot of roll marks and stuff like that. So we're gonna test and see which combination of uh, pad and polish we're gonna be using, or maybe compound, we don't know. I will see, depending if this paint is soft or hard, we will see, we will see. So anyways, like I said, uh, the other thing is we have a special guest today, so um, we have, we're gonna have uh, Phil Miranda with us today. He's gonna be helping us uh, pretty much uh, doing this vehicle, so stay tuned, let's go. With us today, my friend Phil Miranda. Hey guys. Yeah, so we, he's gonna be helping me out with this one here, and yeah, uh, we're gonna be, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be doing more than just one coating together, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so like I said, rims are good, clean and everything, the engine bay as well and stuff like that. I was just drying off the door gems and stuff like that. So now let's get to the um, compound or, you know, polish, whatever we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna see, uh, you guys saw how bad the, it's not that bad, but it is all right, you know. So we're gonna be, trying to remove the majority of the scroll marks from this paint. So let's go, let's do it. Alright guys, so we just finished polishing this vehicle and it's looking way way better. We correct about I wanna say 60% or so of the roll marks and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, it looks way way better. So now we are gonna get into start applying the ceramic coating. And the one we're gonna be applying today is this one here. We got System X Pro. This is a six year coating and as well, we are gonna be applying the glass coating, same from six System X. And this one here is gonna be for the interior. So I will show you guys like the application of this one here. Uh, that's for pretty much carpets, fabric, leather, and vinyl. So that's what we're gonna be using. So let's do it. The, uh, you know, the spotlights mm -hmm. like the on Kind of, you're not gonna get everything with the with that one there. Exactly. So maybe the you flat light more. will help a lot. You know. Excellent. Okay, that's yeah. a good tip. Okay, cool. And that's, I think uh, you show the difference from that to this. You know how you can kind of see better. You know. With yeah. The flat light. Yeah, that's right. Actually, this angle. Yeah. Right here. And yep. This and I can see those ones. There. Okay. How about this? If I hold this light here. Yeah, that works too. That way you can. See that light and see how it compares to that. Because to, to yeah. you can't see the orange peel on this light, but you can in that light, so it's different. Correct. Okay, all right. So when I get to that fourth point, I'll shift over here and then you can get the footage. Okay. All right, awesome. Okay, is it playing or recording? Good, okay. All right, guys, so let's go over those three tips again, and we have a fourth bonus tip for you. 
First tip is make sure to have good lighting, whether it be your shop like this. Handheld lights are also important, so make sure to grab some of these handheld lights because you're going to need them. The second point is microfiber towels. Now we're using these Kirkland towels. You can use whatever towels you want. We found that shorter nap towels are the best for coatings. And the Kirkland towels have really improved. So you can grab these, they're pretty inexpensive. Um, but if you get a package of Kirkland towels and they feel crunchy and hard, return them and get a new package. Sometimes they just miss quality control. But these are very affordable and they work really well. The third tip is going to be your applicators. So whether you know the coating comes with its own little applicator, if you like that, that's great. I am going to suggest these microfiber types of applicators, either in the little brick like this or the round ones that you see me use a lot. If you want to get coating savers, they're great too. If you're new to coatings, it'll help you save coatings. But once you get more experience in coatings, you really don't need these as much. I have the little round ones that aren't coating savers, and uh, I still can get away with having almost half a bottle or more of coating left in, say, a, a 30 mil bottle. So you'll get used to the coating application the more that you apply them. Now, a fourth bonus tip that I was just talking to Tony about is when it comes to lighting, check out the lighting here. You're going to want a spotlight that is good, but the flat light is also very important. Notice what it does to the paint. So you can see that. You see the spotlight, and that's good. That will show up defects, and that will show up some of the rainbowing and some of the residue. But then when you focus over here to the flat light, now the flat light can both either be a, a fluorescent or an LED, flat bulbs, but what it does is it broadens out the light on the panel. You see different defects. That is really helpful to see high spots. So this can help with some of the residue, but flat lighting like that really helps with spotting any of those high spots on your paint. So you can also get, um, Flat lighting like that in like a bar. They're photography lights. I didn't bring one today. Uh, you'll see it later on in my videos. It's a photography light that is a frosted type of light. So that's what you're going to be looking for, a frosted LED photography light. It's going to give you that broad flat light so that you can see those high spots and rainbowing effect on the paint. All right, cool. That's good. What happened to yours? My what? The light he just talked about. Did you have one? Well, yeah, I do have one that's in there. I can go get it. Oh, if, if you have it, yeah, I'll demonstrate it. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. From you, it is a liquid type of uh, ice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have, it's just a fabric rinse. Yeah. That's yeah. basically what it is. It's just a fabric rinse. It's but that's basically what that is. But I think it has. Wicking. It's an ice and brown. It and looks that, like that's a stain. Wicking, is that the wicking? What no, part? wicking is different. Browning is separate from wicking. Browning means the... Oh, perfect. Browning means the um, high alkaline cleaner is actually oxidizing and turning brown. Oh, okay. It's not the stain returning, it's just the, the cleaner itself turning brown. Which is crazy, but it, that's what happens to it. Um, ooh, there we go. Oh, that's really good. Here, catch that on camera. Oh, we got an ice cut over here. Yeah, I just, I just applied it. Oh, no. I just applied more. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Like, it's everywhere. <laughs> uh oh, wow. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, see if you can get that on camera, and I'll wipe it. Can you see the rainbow? Yes. All right, there. Good, I'll do some B roll. Yeah, this stuff is pretty nice to work with. So a fourth tip we want to share with you that actually Tony brought up was using flat lighting or frosted lighting. So we have some on the ceiling and we're going to show you some B-roll of that, of the differences between the spotlights and the frosted lights. But you can pick up a bar, a light bar like this. They're actually used for photography, but this will have different colors, of course, but we'll just go to the regular white color that we want and you can turn up or down the brightness, but notice how it changes the look of the paint and of the coating. You can see the rainbowing effect, and you can see how uh, it actually brings out different defects in the paint. You can see the orange peel a little bit more, 
So it's good to have not just good lighting, but a variety of good lighting. Now these are fairly inexpensive, but again, good to have. They're actually very useful for interior detailing as well. So you can grab one of these. I'll have all the links down below to the different handheld lights um, that work really well on white paint and on all paint. But those three tips with the fourth bonus tip about the frosted lighting, it's really gonna help you apply coatings. If you can apply coatings on a white vehicle like this, you can definitely apply coatings onto any other darker colored vehicle. It just makes things, move away. It just makes things that much easier. Alright guys, so we're gonna be using this coating here from System X. I wanna try it out, so yeah. Since this is a maintenance, um, you know, client that I have, I will apply it and then I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And for instance, if something happens, I will always, you know, reapply any other coating to pretty much, you know, the glass. So I like to use different type of coatings. I like to have uh, different types for my customers. That way they can choose exactly what they want. So, all right. So we got the applicator pad over here and the coating itself. So let's apply it. so finally <laughs> the Audi is done as you guys can see this thing is looking awesome my friend Phil he did a great job helping me out on this one so let's check it out let's see how it looks all right so I want to say we correct about 60% of the defects on the paint which was a lot a lot of defects and roll marks and stuff like that and we also remove this line over here all the way uh, why because there was some places where it was already fading and stuff like that so i contact the client and then i ask him if he wants to remove it so he was agree so that's exactly what we did except for the other side <laughs> let me show you guys and this is what happened and this is a good thing to keep in mind guys boom check that out we got a little problem over here the reason why we didn't remove this side is because this side has been repainted and they applied um, clear coat on top of this <laughs> so anyways that's something that i explained to my customer and everything he was okay by leaving in leaving that <laughs> right there so he might gonna end up painting this area and then I will be applying the ceramic coating just on this area again if if we have to so that's not a problem that's if my customer wants to do that we will be able to do it and once again guys this thing looks great the rims they was super super dirty and we use a W6 from G Technic to clean up them and they look great now so as well the interior let's check it out the interior looks awesome we apply a coating on the leather fabric protection as well so 
pretty nice guys I'm super happy on how this vehicle looks now so all right I think that's gonna be it guys so what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below all right guys so that's it on this video thanks for watching if you guys like videos like this please subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up as well well i should have said give me a big thumbs up and then subscribe you guys already know what to do so <laughs> thanks for watching guys uh we're gonna keep making some more videos like this and i will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching again bye <laughs>